everyone, it's Janice from The Reading Train. This story is called Why Should I Listen? by Claire Llewellyn, illustrated by Mike Gordon. I can hear wonderful things when I really listen. A beautiful songbird. A grasshopper on the lawn or the crunch of freshly fallen snow. But sometimes I find it hard to listen. It's often when I'm really busy watching TV. Could you please answer that door? Playing with friends. Let the dog in, Joe. Diving for sunken treasure. Joe, come out of the bath now. Or flying a rocket to the moon. Are you joining us for gym, Joe? Some people ask, why should I listen? Well, not listening can get you into trouble. What do you think happened when I went to the museum and I didn't listen to my teacher? Everyone back here at 3 p.m., please. Help, where is everybody? And what do you think happened at Isabel's party because I didn't hear a word she said? Cool. We're all going to the pool. Remember to bring your bathing suit. Luckily, we have a spare bathing suit. Wow, it's you. And just the right size, too. Do you want some string, Joe? And guess what happened to my sister last summer when I didn't listen to my mom? Watch Laura for me, Joe. Joe, look at Laura! Is that better, darling? I hate it when people don't listen to me. It makes me feel lonely. Can I have a turn? And invisible. Six frosted donuts, please. Excuse me? It's as if nobody thinks about me. I told them the concert finished at 3 p.m. Or is interested in my life. I had a terrible day today. Oh, did you, dear? So now when someone is talking, I try very hard to listen. Who can bring something for the nature table? Great, Joe, thank you. It means that I usually get things right. And pick up the things that I need to hear. Watch the wet paint, Joe. You need your gym shoes tomorrow. Don't let the cat out, Joe. Buy yourself some ice cream. Here's the money. Yes, Mom.